This is Mark Prosser, Vern Bond. Uh, I have a big question to answer. Uh, which pays more, CDs or bonds? Uh, the obvious answer would be bonds. Bonds should pay more than CDs. But when you look at the evidence, uh, that's not necessarily true. Here you can see the top yielding CDs and how they compare to yields on the average AA rated bond of the same maturity. AA rated bonds are considered extremely safe. In fact, the U.S. government is rated by S&P at AA plus, one notch above AA. We wanted a fair comparison. Super safe bonds compared to a government insured CD. And here's what we found. CDs are better than bonds in the short term based on the yield. Top yielding short term CDs yielded far more than the average bond. The two year CD from CIT Bank yielded 0.57% more. On the face of it, this does not seem logical. However, it does make sense. The bank is using the CD as a method of gaining customers. A high rate for a relatively short period of time is a relatively small cost for acquiring a new client. Yields in the five-year range are very close. The difference between the bond and CD was less than 0.4% in the five-year. However, we quoted the average AA-rated bond. There are many individual bonds that yield close to or even more than the mentioned CD. Let's call this one a toss-up. 10-year bonds offer superior yields to 10-year CDs. The average 10-year bond yielded almost 33% more than the 10-year CD with a yield of 3.25%. In this case, there's a structural reason why there's a big rate difference. Interest rates are almost always lower for shorter periods of time. Banks want to keep their cost of borrowing money as low as possible and often don't want to pay a big premium to clients investing for longer periods of time. On the other hand, corporations like the certainty of not having to go back into the market and frequently refinance their debt. Want really high yields? If you're willing to hold an investment-grade debt that is A-rated, one notch below AA, there are a number of bonds with 10-year maturities that yield between 4 and 5% from companies such as JPMorgan Chase and General Electric. 